You know what else is binge worthy? Glow on Netflix. Gorgeous ladies of wrestling. It's this. <laughs> It's this season. It has three seasons and I just started it. But Glow, it's this whole spoof. And it's like set in the 80s, but it's gorgeous ladies of wrestling Glow. Yeah. And it talks about how, like, it's funny. Yeah. So that's also binge worthy. You're wow. welcome. Hello and welcome to the 21st episode of Little Did I Know Podcast. I'm your host, Stephanie Parks. And I'm your other host, Shauna Zolman Mahaley. Little Did I Know is a place where two friends share our journeys to life, the good and the bad, while never losing our laughter. If you are just now joining us, and this is season two, we have a full season that we recorded that you can go find us on Apple, on Spotify, or you can check us out on stephanshauna.com. Good note. Well, you know, we are in season two. <laughs> so that means we should be improving. And so we, we are. I feel like we are. <laughs> if we have new friends joining, they'll be like, wait, there's a whole season that I missed out on. <laughs> you can binge us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, you can. Are we binge Go find us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are we? Yes. That's a valid we question. <laughs> That's a valid question. I've been and asking my answer myself is, this. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes. You know what else is binge worthy? Glow on Netflix. Gorgeous ladies of wrestling. It's this, <laughs> it's this season. It has three seasons and I just started it. But Glow, it's this whole spoof. And it's like set in the 80s. But it's gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Glow. Yeah. And it talks about how like it's funny. Yes. Yeah, so that's also binge worthy. You're wow. welcome. Wow. That mm-hmm. in and of itself could have been our fun fact because I did not <laughs> see that coming. Glow, I could see you watching, but the actual acronym which it stands for, not a chance. I know. I, know. I like to keep you guessing. That's what I like to do, oh keep you gosh. on your toes. Um, so, well, thank you for bringing up fun fact because You're I welcome. have a fun fact for you. And I feel like I'm like, I knew this. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. So are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay. Your shoes are the first thing people subconsciously notice about you. So you better wear good shoes. <laughs> is that true, really? Or is it <laughs> people true. with shoes fetish? No, it is in, it's the top 20 most amazing facts about people. That's what it is. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, so I'm he- going to test this because normally I would say for me at the eyes. Subconsciously, it is the shoes, is what it says. So we're noticing other things, but really, what we're noticing is how many larger shoes I like. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you this: this actually scared me because of my new role that I'm doing, uh-huh. and I was like, "Well, all right." <laughs> um, if you sit for more than eleven hours a day, there's a fifty percent chance you're going to die in three years. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> we just took a turn on that one, didn't we? <laughs> and did I need to tell you what I did for my day on Thursday I, or Wednesday? I just told you. And exactly. it might have it might, in my car. So, you know, oh, I might have to give my notice or die. I don't know. It's going to be we'll one or the other. First. I, know. If I we, know. If we all of a sudden have a long break mm-hmm. and we didn't close one season and open another, Things may and, have really taken a and turn. You notice some darkness in your heart, and you notice there's just not a lot of a lot of sunshine out there. <laughs> the joy I has been sucked Jesus. from my soul. <laughs> I am with the Lord, so it just is what it is. In all <laughs> reality, you, you would. I'll avoid. meet you at the gate. <laughs> I know. I know, so I'm not even actually upset by it. I'm like, well, thank you for saying your ass isn't going to get bigger, <laughs> you know, like you're going to get varicose veins or, you know, stuff like that. It's just you're going to die. And I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> okay. And so shall I just sit here. <laughs> and scene. Somebody needs to take care of Tate and I'm good. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, I also, can, I, can I add to a previous fun fact, if we will? Oh. You can. I know that we've been on this Burger King kick, and we've been talking about this offline. You almost <laughs> just spat right in the computer screen. Mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to 
revisit not just the tacos, but yep. the vegan burger in which oh, they sell. Right. And the commercials are out now. So it's a legit thing. It's not just a, a wonder on the World Wide Web. Right. But the funny thing is, is that nobody eats the vegan burger because they cook it on the same grill top as the meat. So true vegans out there are like, one, why would I go to Burger King well, in the first well, place? It's number one. Why? True vegan. You know, kind of like the, oh, I can't even, because it's terrible. I'm not going to say it, but no, true vegans aren't even thinking I, Burger King anyway. I didn't even know or encounter what, I'm just going to say veganism, what veganism right. is right, until right. I moved to Seattle. Do you well, know sure. when the last time I saw a Burger King was? It's um, not in Seattle, so I don't know where everybody's <laughs> eating. I bet you have to come back to the Midwest. It's probably true. Two less happy folks here. I'm telling you, happy folks. by the time we get to season, I'm going to say five. Mm-hmm. Over under, I'm going to say five. Okay. There will not be a Burger King anymore. Oh. Mm-hmm. I know what sponsors we're not going to get. Well, and it's okay. I don't want any kind of, kind of that tomfoolery. Like, I am not a part of that. that. also denotes you have to get to step in and not be sitting for over 11 hours a day <laughs> if we're making it to season five. That's true. It's either going to be me or Burger King. Who's it going to be? <laughs> <laughs> we're in a one-on-one on one competition. Vegas. What are our odds? What are the odds? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, <laughs> so we digress. No, I think we're good. I think we have started off with a bang. Okay. Um, okay, so what we talked about when we had our brainstorming about, like, what do we want to do for season two? What do we want it to really look like? We're not staying in that um, whole divorce, you know, right. thing. Because there's more to us than that. There's a lot and a, a whole lot more. And so what we know is that um, (laughs) the people want to hear from us. So we wanted to talk about, like, let's just kind of do real life. Like, what? Let's just do real life. We we say all the time, like, we're real. We want to have a real conversation. It's like we are just chit-chatting over coffee. Thank goodness. It is Friday. Here in the Midwest, it is 6 o'clock, and I have already begun drinking a truly spiked (laughs) seltzer because I can, and it's been a long week. And so we get to do what we want, right? Now, you can't. And I may or may not be jealous, so I already know what this real-life conversation is going to go towards on this end. (laughs) So we're just going to talk about real life. But what I thought we should talk about today is what does real life look like when it just gets interrupted? Like okay. real life interrupting your routine, interrupting your status quo. Like what does that really look like when all of a sudden there is just, you thought you were going straight down this path. Like you had yeah. some things planned out and the next thing you know, it, the road is closed and you have to make a decision right or left. Well, what are you going to do? Look, can I just start on the routine thing? Because yeah. for me, yes. for me, this routine thing, and I don't, I wouldn't have thought myself to be this way. I'm not one that's like, I have to have my day planned out. I have to look at my calendar. I have to have X, Y, and Z marked off on a list. Yeah. Even though that helps because then I feel accomplished. I will say that. But in my little season of, I don't really have a lot that I have to do. Like I have specific trainings that I have to go to the gym for. Other than that, it's like, hey, the world is my oyster. Sure. And I'm thankful for that. But even if I have like my mindset, okay, I'm going to go to the gym And then at some point today, I'm going to do this. And then I get a call and they're like, say Antoine's like, hey, could you run to the store and pick up this and that for me? I'll do it. But good Lord, I don't know what it is, but it just makes me so irritable inside because I'm like, but I wasn't going that direction. Now I have to reorganize this. Now I have to reorganize that. And then I get this really (laughs) pissy attitude. And if I have to stop at more than one place on my way home, I'm just like, I am so tired. I just want to go home. It's just like this dramatic, overly dramatized situation that I make in my mind. I'm just like, if I would have known before I went out to do that, then it would have been fine. But if it's okay. a spur of the moment thing, it's super yeah. over 
overly dramatic for me. However, the other, like the flip side of that though, is I'm a super spontaneous person. Right. So what I'm guessing is you just don't want to go get a nut for Antoine at the store. <laughs> That's actually the thing. I shouldn't like, have used him like, as an let's example. Let's go get a coffee. <laughs> let's go walk over here. You know, okay, let's, anything that else. That would be a much better example because then it, it sounds like I'm throwing my husband under the bus. And I don't want to do no, that. The never. coffee thing is perfect because then I'm like, oh, do I have enough energy to go talk to somebody face to face? I'd rather right. just sit at home. I wouldn't know. Like, there's all these things that go in my head. Uh-huh. And I'm thinking... Get your butt off the couch. (laughs) You are an extroverted person. Get outside. But it's just Mm -hmm. crazy because I have this weird bipolar dichotomy goes on in my head sometimes that it's just not normal to what I I thought was normal. Well, I think that's it. So I think we put up this thing of like, we shouldn't feel that way. We should do this. This is what normal. No, no. That's, and let's not forget anybody who hasn't listened to season two, episode one, which is actually 21, you're also pregnant. So, which is gonna, also causing a lot of other interruptions. Well, <laughs> we'll talk about later. But don't, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you do need to talk to somebody about that. But, <laughs> <laughs> not in mixed company stuff. <laughs> Remember, last year I had Remember? <laughs> <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> Are you going to have to take a pee break? <laughs> oh my. Okay. Well, <clears throat> so I'm going to talk of, I wanted to share real quick about my interruption that is um, superficial. Right. Like it's not it just it. I'm going to talk about a superficial one and then I'm going to talk about like a life interruption. Okay? okay, so this one is it. It really <laughs> bugs me and it's not OK. My grocery store did a complete revamp <laughs> like they they went from the produce section over to the liquor section is redone re done. So I did not know this was going to happen. Okay. <clears throat> and one day I walk in and there are just like, um, panels up from the ceiling to the floor, blocking things out. And all of a sudden, like everything got like super condensed and I didn't know where things were. And it was crazy, crazy. And then they added an entire, prestige section of like hairspray, fingernail polish, bath gels, bath bombs. They have like an esthetician hired to work there. Which is interesting that you're complaining. About I, that. Know. I know. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> know. You mean you don't go to your grocery store for all esthetician needs? I mean, I'm, I, maybe, maybe they had a test mark and people did. And that's how that happened. But what has happened in between that? And it's really nice. Like I was there today. I bought three bath bombs and a shower bomb. It's, I do <laughs> like it. And the girl even said, Hey, you're back. And I said, I'm probably going to see you next week. Like I do spend my money you're there. It's around. fine. But what that happened in that is they made the aisles. They made the consistency of what I know wrong. The consistency. That's it. And it really is this thing of like, I am extroverted. I am extroverted for my job. I am, I really am extroverted. I recover very much like an introvert. And when I feel overwhelmed, when I feel tired, when I feel insecure, or any of those kind of things, I am not going to my extroverted ways. I really don't want to be seen. I don't want to cause a scene and I don't want to, and I I just need to get in and get out and like, and then just, uh, just too much for me. And so this whole situation at my grocery store, I I just don't even like it. So I have an acquaintance on Facebook who posted about Hey, because it, this isn't, it isn't <laughs> happening only at my IV. It's happening to other people's IV. And every so no. often, 
as much as I like to be autonomous on Facebook, I chirped, I chirped, chimed in. And I was like, oh my gosh, I know. I was just trying to find like uh, dog treats and I don't, maybe coffee. Like, I don't know, but it, I walked, I got in my 10,000 steps that day at the grocery store. Like it was <laughs> such bananas. And so, um, and I was like, it's crazy up North too. Like, just so you know, it's crazy up North. Well, her friend replied back and she said, I know all these people who are so frustrated. I just want to hold up a sign and said, do you need a hug? Come and give me a hug. I dare you to come give me a hug. <laughs> you, you, do you know what I need? I don't want you to hug me. Don't make me feel dumb for being so frustrated that my grocery <laughs> store um, system is broken. Don't hug me. But you know what I do want you to do? Offer me a drink and say you understand. <laughs> <laughs> like there are trillies back there. <laughs> Don't give me a hug. Give me a trilly. That's what I wanted to say. Do you but know who I... has a lot of trillies? Red X? Costco. You know, I've heard, that. <laughs> I've heard that that unicorn of a store. I've heard about it. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard about it. I need to get myself a membership. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I don't have one of those. Yeah. Um, so anyways, you know, and it's really one of those things. Is it a big deal? Nope. But it well, doesn't throw, is. does it's it fair. kind of make you go, oh. and is it okay to be like, I don't like it? Yes. Who cares? <laughs> do you need to lose your mind about it? No. No, that's all true. That's all true. But I just appreciate your transparency and sharing, my dear. Well, thank you. Because you're not clearly the only one. No, but I'm going to tell you, if somebody tries to hug me. <laughs> Keep your hugs to yourself. I don't Next want Next time I see you, I'm just going to give you a big old hug. So this is for all no, the people. I want you to hug me. I want you to. <laughs> but don't hug me with this condescension about like, oh, the grocery store is too hard for you. Don't do that. <laughs> don't you do that to me. <laughs> okay, so let's kind of step into like. What, like when in real life, when there really is a disruption that really does change your life? Oh, like being pregnant? Well, <laughs> you want to start, the floor is yours. You are also the host of this show. Well, you know, I'm not saying that it's the negative connotation. That's just, that's just the realness of where I'm at. So like, it's a total blessing and I am not going to say a bad thing about it. I'm just no. being real. Yeah. That being pregnant, there's a lot of things that you just don't get to do anymore. Mm. So, like, as like, is, as I see you drinking a truly in front of yeah. me without any consideration. For the Actually, I'm getting, I'm texting Tate to bring me another one because I just drank it all. <laughs> <laughs> Tatum, bring me another truly, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And it's okay. not like. I, I just miss it because, like, the social element of it. Like, Absolutely. going out with friends, go we'll grab a happy hour. Football yep. season's coming up, which I'm totally stoked about. My favorite thing to do is, like, grill a steak and have a beer watching a football game. Yeah. It totally sounds like a dude. I get it. But that's me. The other thing, you know, sex is different. And it's just, you know, different. Yeah. And there's things. Yeah. And there's just a lot of things that I know because of the hormones. And listen, I don't have it bad. I right. am kind of like middle ground. I don't, I'm not up or down with this. Yep. <sighs> but hormones just do a lot. Yeah. They just do a lot to you. And so the total interruption with social norms, with real life, just interruption yeah. period. It's just, it's a total interruption of, of Shauna and everything I would like to do because I also. <laughs> <laughs> Shauna. <laughs> just <I> also... Shauna. <laughs> I love, you know how much I love biking. I and know. I've got a beautiful one named Groot. And I just oh, don't Oh, that's have... his name now. I, we didn't, I, I didn't know. We'd thrown out a couple. It's Groot. Um, Groot, I like it. <laughs> um, I really do. But I'll go on, on regular rides that I would normally go on. And I am just dead <laughs> halfway through. And so it's just, you know, it just, it is what it is. Yep. But it's some every so often I'll have a little bit, bit of a 
not break down, but I'll just get kind of sad for a little bit because I'm like, oh, you know, I know it's not forever, but yeah. it's just what it is right now. And that's, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, you are kind of actually like merging into a totally different road. And it's not going to stop. I also It's not. Like it. it's going to be your road. Like <laughs> yes. this is your yeah. new lane. Like it's Shauna Road. Like it's Shauna 2.0. But it's Shauna And I'm excited baby. about it. I'm stoked about it. It's it yeah. just a transition. So I'm, I'm being real, real talking through my transitions. I like it. I like it a lot. Good job. Um, so my real life transition is my job. Oh yeah. Big one. 11 hours of sitting. Right. And which is killing me. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's what the fun fact said, but, um, <laughs> literally, <laughs> and, um, I, so, um, I, I like my job. I, I like what I get to do, but it's this thing of, of how much time and effort and mental space it takes up. And yeah. it just, it, it is just big. And there's a lot of things that come with that. Like I just got an email and I went and picked up Tom from the airport and he's like, you can't, you can't let it something so macro, something that was set out very big. You can't let it just go to your micro part. You know what I mean? And so I was like, you're right. You're right. But it also where like last night I wanted to go hang out with some friends after work and I couldn't get that done because I had work to do and I was tired. You know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. so real, my, my job has really made this disruption of life. Like even when we wanted to record, you like, we've had to really change a lot of those things. Mm -hmm. And so I, um, have this sweet young esthetician, um, at one of my, um, accounts and she has been super sweet. She, she wants my job (laughs) and I'm like, you're so cute. (laughs) Like, you should just say you can have it. <laughs> I know, but I'm like, but so um, what I feel like I'm supposed to do is just kind of like she's she's 26, so the age is my firstborn, right? Mm-hmm. And um, she has this really great, very great work ethic, all of these kind of things. But what I feel like I'm supposed to do is just kind of mentor her, mentor her on the side of like. Like, let me help you build a resume. Let me help you get to this place because like, these are the things, you know, all of this kind of stuff. And so, um, it's, it's just been really sweet, but also like eye opening to go. It's a lot of work and you have to put in some time and, but it's been very sweet to have an offshoot of that. You know what I mean? Um, so it's, there's some really good things with it, some strong things, but also, so I was telling her, we were talking through some things and I said, here's some advice that I want you to think of for the rest of your working days. Like, just think about it. There are, there are some days that are so super fabulous in our industry, like super fabulous. And those are really great. And I said, and then there are some real shit days. Like there are just some days that you are like, what am I doing? Like I, if, if we were sitting around my fire pit, I would tell you a story that I would, it'd be the God's honest truth, but it would make you wonder why anybody does this job. <laughs> like legit. I can believe that. Some of the yeah. stories you've already shared. I've asked yeah. you to quit multiple times actually. So just <laughs> throw that out there. I, I can believe it. <laughs> Um, so there's those days and then in the middle, it is just work and work feels like work. Yeah. And so sure. that's what you do. You show up, you clock in, you do your job, you clock out like work just feels like work. So there, and I think that's that way with every job. Like you've got some great days and you've got some disastrous moments, Yeah. but really your mainstream of it, you just work. You just do. And so, um, that's where, like, I keep telling myself of like, just, it's just work, you know? Yep. And, yep. um, but being 45 years old, I can be like, I don't know how much longer I want to do this. 
Tom, did you say you were getting a raise pretty soon? I want to do something <laughs> super fun. Uh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> um, but so that's what life, real life looks like with just, it's just kind of got, you got a disruption, yeah. right? Yeah. And everybody has them. Oh, for sure. You do. So what about like when life really makes you stop? Like you just have to stop. The Real life the, happens and you just stop. The the first time that came to mind when you said that was back in Snowmageddon when mm. there's a massive, probably about two weeks in Seattle where we just had a buttload of snow. For any other place in America, it wouldn't have been any more than a really good snowstorm. But here, mm -hmm. not having the proper gear and equipment to clear the roads and having massive hills where you can't liter you literally cannot drive up. Um, it, it forced you, it forced us to just completely shut down. Um, we were snowed in, you couldn't get anywhere. And I like being from the Midwest, I get that. And I love those things. Yeah. And, but, but there was this moment where I think mentally and even spiritually, like knowing mm -hmm. that God is in control of mother nature and sometimes yeah. he does that. Um, or he allows that, and I'm not trying to over spiritualize this particular. No, for instance. sure. This is just something that, like internally, I was processing. Where, um, when he's in charge, that he's allowing it. Sometimes it's also just for your good to realize and just recognize and stop, and be able to slow down and not try to force things, not get frustrated at things you can't do, but be thankful mm -hmm. and grateful for the time that you now have to do things otherwise you wouldn't be able to. And so when. When you said that, the first thing that came to mind was that time where, you know, Antoine and I had time to just spend together mm -hmm. or to connect or um, to go hang with neighbors we otherwise wouldn't have. Or um, I'm always challenged in those moments to, to stop the negative talk and to stop the complaining of what is mm -hmm. and try mm -hmm. to be a problem solver and flip that perspective of what do I get to do or what do I get to learn or what, how are you growing or stretching in a specific area that you otherwise wouldn't be if this didn't occur? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. easier to say that when things are at a sudden stop for me yeah. versus extreme pain. Like that's different. Like extreme pain, that's hard to have a perspective switch. Yeah. But when right. there's like a stop in life and you're like, okay, let's let me back up for a little bit. Kind of gets where you picture. have the space to actually embrace yeah. it, where it's not just catastrophe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. And did you make a baby then? No, that wasn't nope, that time. Not, that wasn't it. Okay, no. all right, just checking. It wasn't because I was time, thinking but... we might want to throw in Snowmageddon in kind some kind of name, but that's clearly <laughs> not going to be the baby's name. <laughs> no, no um, I know exactly when it was. Oh, it was not Snowmageddon, but it. It was like around April. Okay. I mean, clearly, because February, baby. But, yep. For we sure. Know. We know yeah. exactly oh. what it was. Okay. Well, look at you. Good <laughs> job. Good job, Chief. <laughs> to me. <laughs> to me, Chief. <laughs> um, so, what I can think of, and it has, um, you know, again, not to over-spiritualize anything, but I do think um, when... In scripture, when God talks back to Joshua and the Israelites and he says, this was this was so monumentous. I want you to go back and get a stone and pick it up and set Raise it, that set it up. That Ebenezer girl. You know? Yeah. And so there's, I think we have those moments in our life that like you go back and, and it says like, and then when your kids ask you, your grandkids ask you, like you go back and you talk about right. the goodness of God in this stone. And so, um, and it, it's, it's changed us is when, um, so my, my lifelong best friend is Allison mm -hmm. and, um, we have been best friend since we only had one child each. And, um, now we have four <laughs> and eight and all of this. And, um, but when we adopted our girls, we did not mean to, we didn't set out to adopt them together, but our paperwork and our timeline worked together that we actually went to China together That's with so them. Good. That's so incredible. And, so amazing. Yeah. And, but we split up and got our girls and then we came back and then we flew home and then we had 
everybody at the airport. And and we have raised our girls together. And our gotcha day for the girls is um, uh, the 21st of August. Oh, so nice. like it'll be 13 years that we wow. have had Tatum and Meyer. And um, so we – the girls are just, we're all just connected, but Meyer got sick the November that we got home. So November of 2006, Meyer got sick with a genetic, um, uh, health issue that we did not know she had. It just showed up. Um, and it was devastating to where, um, the first reports that we got from the doctor were, they told Allie and Greg, like you, you won't go home as a family of six. Like this is going to change your life forever. And so, um, through just prayer and fasting and just the grace of God, um, that he changed reports, he changed things, but our life at that moment stopped. And, um, and just, it, nothing else mattered, you know, yeah. like it just didn't yeah. matter. And, um, would go down early in the mornings or stay late at night with Allie. And we just, we talked through the hardest things that we need to talk through of babies and of moms and of things like that. And, and I just, so there was something that just was etched in our hearts and just forged something even stronger than what we already had it, to make us family, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. And, um, so there's just this thing in our life where m Massey's always matter to us. You know, like if there's a, if there's a graduation, except for this last time, cause I had, um, I just got in a car accident. So sorry. But if there's a graduation or a dance recital or a wedding or a dinner, or a birthday, anything like that, like our calendars clear and it's messy. Like it just is. And they really have yeah. just in loved me so well. Like, like they really are my family. Um, and so we, we say a lot about like when we talk about our friendship and we talk about our life, like we have like, Myers health. And then we have my divorce. Like there's a before and an after to that. Yeah. And the, those are the things that we have had to go back and put down the stones and say, God is faithful. This is where we are. And we will look back at this and we will go, do you remember this? And so, but life has, life has altered from there since. Yeah. So that, that when I think about like when, something happens in your life that makes your real life stop and you don't ever do life the same, you know, I would say Meyer for yeah. sure. It's the, um, it just, it, it, the two things that, that stood out, but it's the same thing just said twice that the it's perspective and yeah. I'm thankful for that. You know, like it's, yeah. it's always a hard, big stopping, whatever things that, that cause just a perspective change, which is a healthy thing, which is a good thing. It's just not always easy for sure. For sure. And I think it goes back to if we like go back whoop, all the way over to this side of things to go, the, the, the nuance of changing your grocery store that it's going to throw you into that place. Like it's a big chasm, but it, it, okay. Like it, where you're at, like <laughs> yeah. that does bother you and it's okay. You know, but let's go back and go, whoop, remember well, over here? We, <laughs> we started about six inches and then we just went six feet. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right? Like, ah. Uh, but, um, and also to add, do you remember when you came to Kansas City when I was going through my divorce? And remember, if I couldn't park in my parking spot, I would go home. <laughs> do, you do you remember that? And you I were like, wait, that. we're not going in? I'm like, my, I can't. I'm going to have a nervous breakdown right now. Like my spot is not. That's so true. I, and yeah. So, I mean, you if I can made progress, thank you. <laughs> it's thank gone you. from <laughs> in, outside to now inside. We're good. Yeah. So, I mean, we're I'm getting somewhere. Also, that's a win. So that is a win, Stephanie. What a great Do you see what I did there? there. Do you yes, see what I did, there? did. Yes, I did. So let me jump in and tell you about my wins and losses Please for do. the week. 
Okay. Um, so my win for the week would be that I was able to run into home goods today between appointments. I hope my boss isn't listening. Um, <laughs> but I ran into home goods today and I am wearing camouflage pants and this like white lace shirt and my best shoes. Because again, people notice first, your shoes. First thing, apparently. I know this lady came up to me and could not tell me how cute I was enough. <laughs> And I just said, Love it. I did. I, That's going to be your win for the rest of the month. <laughs> I know. To tell you when I picked Tate up and I told her, I said, Tate, you're not going to believe what happened to me today. And she was like, Mom. okay, mom. <laughs> but, and it was so cute. And she was like, I didn't know you could put lace with camo. And, and Tate's like, of course you can. And I was like, there is fashion in you. Like, I know it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> so my win was I had a really great outfit on today Way to go yeah and, you and i had good right hair i had good hair good shoes a good lip boop, boop, boop. listen yep. you're just you're rocking it today some days you do now tomorrow i probably will look homeless the entire day <laughs> and people will not recognize me it's fine i really don't care so my loss is the humidity in kansas <laughs> city it, it is almost september like we have to shut this show off Oh, like it's been enough. We are good. I need to go outside and enjoy my new deck. Like that's really the situation. Is there a point during the night where you can? Well, so I've actually been able to get out a couple times in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, because works. truth be told, once it's dark at night, you know what happens. I'm asleep. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but I really want to enjoy my back patio and it, the humidity is too much. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. It's yeah, yep. it's August. Well, let's wrap this season up. Come on. Okay, what about you, ma'am? Uh, winning, winning this week would have to be scheduling my appointment for September uh, to find the sex of our, of our baby. That okay. Was, that was a good, it's exciting, something to look forward to, and I can't wait. I've got bows on order. I cannot wait. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I cannot wait. Praying it's a boy. Praying it's a boy. <laughs> Can't no, wait joking. for it to be a girl. Okay. Um, <laughs> where I'm losing? Well, I was going to say this one. Okay. So Uzi's been at my feet. This is why I've kind of like shifted. So okay. she has this little chihuahua boyfriend. <laughs> Where's she? I like I mean, that big girl like in that little boy. <laughs> she goes out on our little deck Whenever he she hears his and he's like runs away from home and she oh, hears his little he's a bad boy <laughs> he is he's rebellious <laughs> so oh, he's no. outside and you can hear it so she goes out on the deck and she does this whimper and this cry that I know oh. is only for him so I'm like oh, oh this is your man yes Who am I to keep you from your man <laughs> so I said Uzi do you want to go downstairs and she just looks up at me and she's like. Yes, yes, I do. I want to see him. So we go out st- or downstairs. We go outside, and he's nowhere to be seen. Oh. Well, we turn the corner, walk a little ways down, and uh-huh. we see him. They lock eyes. Their tails start wagging. He comes up. She starts to pounce and play, and then she hurts her knee again. Oh, no. So then she just stops immediately and crouches between my legs. And I'm like, oh, poor oh. thing. Oh. I know it. I Does know she it. need a knee brace? <laughs> I'm not going to give my dog a knee brace. She might need one. Oh, I think of life of secret life of pets with that old man that has he's on wheels. It's a cart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, she's, that would be she'll funny. be fine. She's just super sensitive, and I think she is in a little bit of pain. But okay. She'll be okay. So you know, when your children hurt, you hurt. <laughs> That's absolutely. <where> you are <laughs> right about that, ma'am. Yeah, that and the fact that you can just keep drinking in front of me. So, oh, so. Was that your loss? Do you not have a win? Oh, the win is the baby, the date, and then the loss is that. That's the one. I'm drinking and <laughs> Uzi's knee. <laughs> <laughs> so little did I know. Let's end with a little okay, did yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, go there. Little did you I start. know. You want me to start with little did I know? Yeah, okay. I do. Uh-huh. Um, little, little did I know how interesting some of the stories are that Antoine comes home with. Oh, from work. Oh, I can imagine. So, so yeah. So, operating as an EMT, he, um, I'll, I'll share this one. Okay. We are big fans of Grays. And 
He had a Grey's Anatomy in your, moment. In your backyard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, supposed to be. And <laughs> he had a Grey's Anatomy moment when he went to this hospital. Oh. So he turns the corner, and as he turns the corner, he sees this nurse that just pops out of this room, and she <gasps> looks at him eyes wide open like, oh, I wasn't expecting anybody to be here to see me. And then out comes a male nurse that's following her <laughs> in a room that's totally open and it's just them too and he like calls me immediately right afterwards he's not really supposed to he's like i just had my first grace anatomy moment i didn't know this stuff really happened <laughs> oh but it was great oh that's it was great. fantastic yeah just okay. a little bit of a taste but there's there's always it's rare that there's not something that's pretty oh, amazing scandalous. that happens yeah 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 for sure how about um, you well, my little did I know, um, it's going to take a serious tone, <laughs> okay. um, but you know, I talked about Dr. Mary in season one Yes, yes. and we like Dr. Mary. She helped me really navigate through some things and yeah. helped me get some good, um, perspective on things, but I actually have a new therapist and we like, and her. we do. So little did I know, um, how much having a, would it be nonpartisan? Is that the right word? Mm-hmm. Neutral party. Sure. Um, speak in to your life uh, um, and really help give guidance and challenge you, yeah. me how much I needed. Little did I know that I, I needed to go into a, a, a more, um, I'm not aggressive because that's not the right word because she's not aggressive, but more uh, persuasive. What, but she, is that the right uh, word? Well, you, you just, you click though also. You, she challenges you. Yeah. And yeah. you guys click where yeah. you click more so in different ways than you did with Dr. Mary. But, yes. But I think yeah. just hearing you, you leave feeling like not only are you challenged, but you have like practical things to work on or practical things yeah. that are kind of like an aha moment. So I get that. Cause not, not all, not all counselors. It's not just about talking. It's activating steps. It's yeah. challenge to improve. How do I improve? What do I do? That type of stuff. Yeah. So I would just say like, if anybody's even thinking about it, like go, just your your mental health needs to have the attention that our physical health, our skin health, our you know all of those yeah. other things. Like our mental health yeah. really is important. So and if you don't little know did that, I know. Listen to season number one of Little Did I Know, and that you will know, be very apparent that she needs some. <laughs> everybody needs some mental help. <laughs> well, I yes. think it's been an amazing episode. <laughs> of little did I know. I am two truly's in and I am <laughs> Stephanie Parks and you can find me at Stephanie Parks on Facebook and Steph K Parks on Instagram. I am Shauna Zola Mahaley. I'm currently mad and you can also find me there on Facebook. <laughs> and dry and sober <laughs> and pregnant. <laughs> oh man, but it's good to be back with you and it's good to be back on this platform. So tune in next week. Yes. As we will continue on our Real Talk segments. Absolutely. About who knows what else. You have to tune in to find out. If you would like to send us suggestions or comments, please do. Only the nice ones. Because, again, I just stepped back into therapy. So and the let's five-star ones. Me. Yep. Oh, I know. Our five-star reviews are so great. So we look forward to joining you in another conversation next week. So have a good week, everybody. Ta-ta. Bye.